Okay, so now we have some points here. Let's list them out, shall we? Okay, um, I'll put them down here. Because each of these pairs of numbers gives us some coordinates, right? So this first one here, that's negative 2, 4. Okay? Then you've got this one here, that's negative 1, 1. What's this one here? This origin. is a special one. It's the origin. Good. Zero, zero. Okay, and then you can keep on reading off, right? So, let's draw this thing. Let's draw it. Draw yourself up a set of axes. Maybe make it a bit bigger than these ones because we want some detail here. Okay, so and we'll draw this thing. Yeah. Yeah, quickly. Actually, now, can you, can you first before you do, can you maybe draw this and then go? Yeah, sure. So draw fast. <laughs> yeah, good. Too much information. Okay. <laughs> I'm listening. Y equals x to the power of two. Yeah. Just put that on a put that on a set of axes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. They would say, well, I guess I think the proper wording would be sketch the graph of y equals x squared. Right? So y equals x squared is like one of these guys. It's an equation. It's a rule. Which one of those So, ah, now here's the thing. They're looking for all of them together. I'll show you what I mean. Right? So these five points, I'm going to plot all of them on here. Okay? Try and make your um, scale reasonable here. So minus two. Let's, let's put some markings on here. So something like this. Half hour. Okay. So label them on. Okay. So minus two. That's over here. And then you go up four. Right. One, two, three, four. There. Minus one. One. Where's that going to be? It'll be. It'll be just in here, won't it? There's minus one. One, two, three, four, five. Is that so? There it is. Are you already following that? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing these points, I'm taking them, and I'm putting them on. Yeah. Zero, zero, we already established is, is right there at the origin. Okay. And then now, hold on a second. You know how we said, oh, it's like a palindrome, right? We have, um, we have maths language, we have geometric language uh, that describes these kinds of things. We would say, for instance, you know, if I showed you a triangle, right, or a rectangle, that was the same one way as it is the other. You wouldn't say, oh, that's a symmetrical. palindromic triangle. You'd say it's a symmetrical. symmetrical triangle, right? So we're gonna observe the same thing here. Watch this, one, one, where's that? It's here, right? And then, sorry, that should be a two. Two, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, it's up there, okay, <laughs> now, yeah, you can see if I join up these dots, right, I've got this, Symmetry to it. It's the same way one way as the end, right? So now put your pens down for a second Put your pens down for a second When I look at these one two three four five dots, right? I could join them up like this Right because you're like the way we've joined them up before you, just, you do this right uh, from there to there and then from there to there and then there to there and up to there Okay, but um and that looks, well, it looks sort of convincing, but something seems wrong about it, right? Because it's kind of like, oh, I'm kind of changing course, and then I'm, I'm it's, like, it's like an awkward sort of um, dot to dot type thing, right? It's not doing that, and you can check it by taking smaller values. Like, what if I said, what about a half? Where would that be? Or what about one and a half? Or as we kept going, like three, four, five, six, seven. In fact, the pattern is not these straight lines. The pattern, is a curved line. Mm. Mm. Like that. <laughs> okay? Mine's not that great, but you can see the idea, right? And the important thing is that it's all curved all the way, right? So whereas these guys are all linear, they're all straight lines, okay? We have left straight lines. And we didn't it didn't take much to leave straight lines, right? We only modified it just a little bit. While you're staring at this whale, let's give the whale a name. This particular kind of Thank whale you. is called a oh. parabola. Parabola. That's the name of this shape. Okay. So hi, parabola, the blue whale. Get it? Because blue. Anyway. Um, that's the whole shape, right? And there's an important part of it, which is two important parts. This point down here, right at the origin in this case, right? 
can you see? It's a little bit like this shape coming down and then it turns around, right? It comes down and then it goes up. So it turns, right? It's a bit like a car turning around, right? So we call that point, we call it the, <laughs> we call it the turning point because it's the point where it turns, okay? Yeah. Um, if you like, you kept going with that x, y table thing. Like, yep. Say like a thousand times, would the line just keep curving outwards or like... Well, okay, so that's a very good question. What happens as we keep going further and further away? Now, the reason why I haven't done more values is because, well, you told me, right? The next number would be 9, and then 16, and then 25, 36. By the time you get to 10, you're already up at 100. I can't, I can't draw it anymore. I'm running out of space. So it's going to keep getting... See how it's like really shallow here? And then it gets steeper. It's steeper. It's steeper, 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 steeper. So in other words, this is a really important idea. See with these. The gradient of the line is always the same, right? Look. Same steepness, same steepness. This is also the same steepness. This is steeper, but it's still the same all the way. But this beast is different, right? At this point, the gradient is going down. So it should be negative, right? It's going down over here, it's going up, and it's going faster and faster. So isn't negative when the line goes that way, and then positive Negative's decreasing. No, but you know, like, the line, and it's going instead of like all those things out. Yep. To the right. If it's going to the left, it's going to. So you're going one of those. You mean like that? Yeah. So this is decreasing. But can you see this part here, right? It looks more like this than it looks like this. These guys are climbing up the hill and this guy is rolling down. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, the point the point is that it's it's changing. The gradient keeps changing and that's kind of weird. Okay. By the way, um, turning point is another name for it. Um, the Latin for turning hat is the word um, vertere or something like that. So this is often called the vertex. Mm. just means turning point. Okay.